I guess Lincoln has it uh, set in that uh, I mean you got one more, but uh, after whole five years, you know all these games played, one last home game and went out with quite a bang. Yeah, no, it's definitely set in uh, on the bus ride here. Just getting a bunch of text messages and uh, you know just seeing all the boys come up to me and telling them they were playing for me. Uh, it definitely set in that this was the last time playing in. Uh, happy tears though, but uh, I knew the boys had my back and uh, we put on a show tonight and that's all I can, I can be thankful for. Offense putting up 56 points. How would you just describe how well uh, this offensive group in particular tonight clicked overall? Yeah, well, I think it clicked for the whole team. You know, we've really been missing complimentary football, and uh, I really think that uh, we showed out on all three phases of the ball, and um, that, that's what you get when you have a great week of preparation and, you know, you work through the hard stuff that the past six weeks have been happening, and um, it's just great to see all the hard work come to fruition, and um, it's great to see everyone having fun and everyone making plays. You know, it's not just the offense scoring points, you know, uh, special teams making plays, defense getting off, off the uh, field, and, you know, Brennan Jackson scoring two touchdowns. Like, it's just a great team win. Um, you know, when, we're, when, when all three phases are on, you know, we, we can beat anyone we want to play. You kind of mentioned, you know, it all kind of coming to you now. But, I mean, also in this game, obviously the year you've had, you know, you break into like top 10 for a single season and the catch is there. So obviously you're starting to, you know, leave your name in WSU history, just kind of how it feels to not only be a part of it for this long, but such a substantial part of it this year too. Yeah, I mean, it's just a testament to my hard work and sacrifice that uh, not only my parents have made, but uh, my circle that, you know, they've they've done a great job of just keeping me level-headed. Um, it hasn't ever been easy. Things have never been gone my way, but I think when you push through something hard and you push through adversity, there's always greatness at the end. And uh, my dad always tells me hard work never goes unnoticed, and I really truly live by that. And uh I'm just so thankful to be in this position because it wasn't just me that got myself here. Uh, it was my, my parents, my family, my friends. Uh, there's many nights where, you know, I really contemplated playing football because of how hard it is. And um, uh, you just think back to the process and, you know, the, the, the more you can fall in love with the process, the better it's going to be. So uh, your nephew, the star of the show here right now, is that, is that, oh, you yeah. said your nephew, right? Yeah, my nephew. Um, you know, for you, you obviously done some returning, and then you, you see Leighton break one, and I know uh, for him he hasn't maybe gotten the reps he wanted at receiver, but see him do that, I mean, as a veteran, what does that kind of feel like for you and, mm -hmm. and kind of see him make that play? It's, it's amazing to see, you know, it's, it's, it's guys who, you know, be patient and wait their time. You know, he's, I've gone through a similar situation where I played a lot my freshman year and then things just don't pan out in year two. But, you know, it's a testament to his sacrifice, man. This guy never, never in a doubt has ever had any bad or energy, energy or negative energy at practice. This guy just puts his head down and work, and those are the results you're going to get. And, um, you know, I'm just super proud of that guy for sticking, sticking through it, man. Those, those type of scenarios, you can either go one way, you can either leave or you can put your head down and work and that guy's a grinder man and I'm just so happy for him to be able to touch the zone and uh, we knew we knew it was going to be you know that left side was going to be weak on the on their kickoff coverage team so uh, I told Layden before the game man you get one you, you get one man take it to the house and he did so I'm so super proud of that dude super happy for him uh, he does he deserves it what uh, what do you miss most about playing here with these guys yeah, yeah. that's that's a that's a really good question I'm, I'm just going to miss like the hard times man like you know, going the past six weeks losing and having to come back in the, the next day and, and, you know, watch the film and, you know, just be, you know, upset about what you left out there. Uh, but I'm also going to miss, you know, like outside of this outside of this building, how the, all the bonds that I've made and all the relationships that have been created through this game. And, uh, you know, you just think back to how – how many guys have came and gone through this program and the guys who have stuck it out, you know, those are the guys who are true cougs through and through. And I'm um, just going to miss, like, like I said, just the hard times, you know, the things that where your, your brother has your back and he's telling you, you know, um, never to quit. So I'm just going to miss those little moments, but uh, hopefully my legacy will be left behind that I didn't let a moment slip by. Say go cougs. Okay. Say go cougs. Go Cougs. <laughs> <laughs>